Hello, and welcome to your clarinet. Alright, so now that you have your clarinet, what we need to do is we need to learn how to open it up properly, and we need to get out the parts that we need to make our embouchure. Our embouchure is our face set up to make a good sound. So when you have your clarinet, you'll see on one side there'll be a label. That side needs to be facing up before you open it. Make sure it's up. So once it's up, you can take your latches off and open it up. And there's the clarinet. The first thing that you need to get out of the clarinet is the reed. I'll give you a reed and you'll slowly take it out and the first thing you'll do with that reed is put it inside your mouth. The rest of this here you don't need, you can throw that away. Don't need it anymore. So, you're going to keep the reed inside your mouth while you put the rest of your instrument together. I'm going to go ahead and place it in my cup here full of water. You can do that the first time you have a reed just to help get it soaked up a little bit more. Just get a little cup with some water, fill it up, and then put that reed inside there. It'll help soak up the water into that reed, make it a little bit easier. After the first time you soak it up, it gets easier to get moisture into the reed each time. So, we are going to need two pieces of the clarinet. The first piece that we need is our mouthpiece. So the mouthpiece will come with a cap. That's just to protect the reed in case you had it on there while you're playing. Um, say you have a large amount of rest, you can pop the cap back on just to protect the reed. We don't need the cap right now, so I'm going to set that back in. On the mouthpiece, we have our mouthpiece itself, and then we have this little metal guy. This metal thing here is called a ligature. The ligature is what will hold the reed onto the mouthpiece. So, we have our mouthpiece and we have our ligature. The next piece that you're going to need is what's called the barrel. It's just a small piece and it looks like a barrel. Now there's one side that's bigger than the other. The smaller side is what connects to the mouthpiece. When you put that on, just grab it, twist it right together, and put the two pieces together. Just like that. Now that we have our mouthpiece and our barrel put together, now what we need to do is make, get the reed onto the mouthpiece. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my ligature, I'm going to hold it from the underside so that the whole of the mouthpiece is facing up. I'm going to take my ligature and I'm going to slide it up with my finger. See how I'm doing that? I'm just sliding it up with my finger. Good, so now that I've slid it up with my finger, I make sure that my screws are kind of loose. We don't want them real tight so we can get that reed inside there. Now I'm going to grab my reed. On the reed, there is a flat side of the reed and a rounded side of the reed. We want to put the flat side of the reed down onto the clarinet. So we're going to put the flat side, slide it right underneath the ligature until it's in. Now if you notice, my reed is not quite right, or you might not. So right here, we have our reed. We want to make sure that the tip of the reed is level with the tip of the mouthpiece. So I'm just going to adjust it, left and right, top and bottom, I'm going to get everything correct. Once I've got it correct, I can pull down my ligature, I can go ahead and tighten up the screws. Now I don't want to tighten up the screws too tight, I just want to go to when they're snug. Once they're snug, I know that we're set properly. So I have the tip of the reed, even with the tip of the mouthpiece, I got my ligature nice and snug. Now that I have that, I can go ahead and start to learn how to play. To do, is I'd like for you to take and bite your bottom lip. Arr. Good, excellent. This is the basic form of how you're going to hold your instrument. When you bite your bottom lip, your lip is on the bottom, your teeth are on the top. Just like when you're going to play this, your teeth are going to be on the top, your lip is going to be on the bottom. You want to protect the reed, so that's why your lip is there, because it's a little bit softer. So before we put this in our mouth, let's get the general feel of it. I want you to take one finger, your pointer finger, and I want you to take the hard part of your finger, the nail, and the soft part of your finger, and I want you to match them up. Hard, hard, nail to teeth, soft, soft, finger to lip. Hard, hard, soft, soft, close down your top lip. Good, excellent. That's going to be the basic feel of what it's going to be like in your mouth. 
Just like I could have bit down a whole lot harder and made it uncomfortable for my finger, I could do that as well with the clarinet. You don't want to do that. Make it nice and comfortable for when it goes inside your mouth, just like if you have your finger inside your mouth. All right, so let's work on getting the clarinet into our mouth. Now, we don't want to put all the clarinet into our mouth. We only want to put in about a finger's width worth into our mouth. It's about as much as what you need into your mouth. So you want to match it up, hard to hard, soft to soft with the root wood. And when you put it in, put it in and angle it right down your body so it's pointing down at the floor. So we're going to match it up, hard to hard, soft to soft. Close it down. Good, excellent. Notice that your lips are pulled back. You're nice and firm around the corners. That's the way we want to be. Now when we blow into the mouthpiece, we want to make sure that we're blowing with cold air. Fast, cold air. So, I want you to pretend that there's a birthday cake right out here, and I want you to blow out the candles. Good. We want to blow out the candles on a birthday cake. Now, if there was a balloon, I'd blow up and I'd go, and just let my air go. I want to direct my air, and shoot it right out like I'm blowing out birthday candles. All right, so. Hard, hard, soft, soft, and then blow out a birthday candle. There you go. Hard, hard, soft, soft, close it down, and then blow. See? That's how it works. Hard, hard, soft, soft, blow out the birthday candle. Now, if you happen to get this sound, That tells me that you didn't have your teeth on the top. You were not hard hard, you were soft soft, and it probably buzzed all over your lips and it felt so funny. So we want to make sure, teeth on top, lip on bottom, and take a little less mouthpiece if that's what you have. So hard hard, soft soft, blow the air. Good. Now if you also had this sound. If you were doing that, that means you're probably too tight. You need to loosen up a little bit. You're really biting down on the finger. You're going to leave marks if that was your finger inside your mouth. Loosen up a little bit and take just a little bit more mouthpiece to make that air go easier into the mouthpiece. Remember, fast air. Hard, hard, soft, soft. Close it down. Good. Excellent. So, we've now played with our mouthpiece for a little while. We want to take it apart. So what do we need to do first? Just the opposite of how we put it together. So we're going to take the reed off first. Slide that into my mouth. But I'm going to go ahead and put it back in my cup. Then I'm going to take my mouthpiece cap, put it back on. Take my mouthpiece and barrel apart. Set my mouthpiece back in. My barrel back away. And then I'm going to get out my reed guard here. That's where my reed's going to live. If I'm not playing, it needs to be in my reed guard here. Don't leave it on the mouthpiece. Always take it off and put it away. So I'm going to take my reed. And I'm going to just slide it flat end to flat end down into my reed guard. Now, I'm not going to push really hard. I'm just going to get it to the point where it's snug in there, and then I know it's good to go for the next time that I need it. So what I'd like for you to do is I'd like for you to practice getting out the mouthpiece, the barrel, getting your reed good and wet, putting it all together, and then I want you to practice playing on the mouthpiece. You want to get one sound for as long as you can. Don't let it horror, 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 no shaky. One sound all the way through. If you can get one sound for 10 seconds, you're going to be a rock star. So keep practicing the mouthpiece and the reeds with the barrel, and you're going to be awesome. The rest of the instruments, just a bunch of buttons. If you get that, you're going to be great.